Hello everybody, welcome to YAN, I am your host AA Ron, and today in typical Disney fashion of who asked for this, we have a teaser for Mufasa the Lion King. I have a mixed relationship with the Lion King franchise, especially in these later remake uh, movies that they're doing, but I'm going to go into further detail with that after we watch the trailer. So let's go ahead and watch it. But before we do that, if you're new here and you haven't seen any of the videos we've done so far, feel free to view them. Trailer reactions, video games, uh, skits, stupidness. <laughs> uh, like this video if you enjoy what you're seeing. Subscribe to YAN so you don't miss out on all the nonsense and please enjoy the reaction. Oh, we back, baby. <laughs> this story begins far beyond the mountains and the shadows. On the other side of the light. A lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood. That looks and pretty, Lyon man. Who this looks gorgeous. Our lives forever. Mufasa. The earth will shake. This looks really epic, I gotta say, man. Hey, Seth Rogen and Billy Ackie. Oh, Seth Rogen and Billy Ackie. Original songs by Lin Manuel Miranda. Yes, a lot of people probably aren't gonna be hyped for that, but I'm hyped as hell. Yes, I love Lin Manuel. I love him. Yes, see more Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> That's the thing I'm most hyped about for this movie. <laughs> Oh, Lynn. Oh, so good to see Lynn. People do not like Lynn, uh, uh, Lynn Manuel's, uh, because he did in Little Mermaid Scuttlebutt. Uh, and I know a lot of people hate that song. I can't get that song out of my head. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's because of Aquafina. I, I, I don't know. But uh, I love Lynn. I love everything he does. I love seeing him pop up and stuff. He was one of my favorite parts in his limited appearance in the Percy Jackson series. I just love Lynn so much. Uh, but let's talk about The Lion King. Okay, so as I said before in the intro, I have a very complicated uh, really, no, I mean, you know, it's, it's a that's a poor phrase. Really, the truth is, it's just I I didn't like the the 2019 remake of The Lion King. And truth be told, it was just because I love The Lion King, like <laughs> the, the animated version. I had the special edition when I was a kid, uh, the one that had Zazu singing, this is the morning report. Like uh, I had that version and that was the only version for me until like, I guess I, I lost it when I moved houses and I got the blu-ray of the lion king and it didn't have that version on it which made me really sad but it's it's okay i i love the lion king so much it made me fascinated with lions lions became my favorite animals because of lion king i am a gryffindor you can see that back there love the lions um and so when the remake came out i was like my for well let's get this out of the way the movie is gorgeous the the original and this trailer like the live action Lion King films are technical marvels. My problem with them is that 
it it's flat like in the sense of you're having human emotions come out of these animals that can't display emotion because it's photo real you know what i mean like we understand that animals can get have souls have feelings and stuff like that but they're they they don't emote that the way humans do so it's hard to really connect to simba when he's crying when he's just looking like 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 that like that you know what i mean and so uh going into this i was like and, and plus just the fact that when i heard about this i was i was kind of i mean i wasn't upset but i was like mufasa like they're talking they're doing the origin story about mufasa like mufasa always seemed like this omnipotent like almost otherworldly character yes he was simba's dad but he was more he felt more connected to like the the spiritual side of the savannah and the 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 kings of the past than even simba did in his you know in his adult years when he finally learned what that meant like and now we're kind of learning in this trailer that mufasa was someone without any no, no you know he was out without any nobility in him and and i and i understand the lion king is basically hamlet uh it's about clawing your way to the top and blah 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 but it hey, was i was i getting anakin skywalker vibes from mufasa <laughs> like the fact that it was this kid from nowhere who didn't have any like special like or at least as far as we know i mean i'm gonna get the star wars fans angry at me but like just the fact that it was like this little kid from nowhere that has this great destiny ahead of him i don't know for some reason i was getting anakin skywalker vibes which is funny because james Earl jones voiced darth vader as you probably all know uh but yeah like mufasa always felt like this otherworldly character that we didn't need to know his origin story and if we're going to be getting the origin story of mufasa that means we're also going to be getting the origin story of scar which like scar always felt like that jeremy irons evil dude from the get-go and i don't really i i guess i never really cared to see their falling out i i always just came down to scar was jealous because he mufasa was king and he wasn't though i will be amped to see if the reason scar has his scar is because mufasa just beat the shit out of him <laughs> uh, but like even like this in transformers one like we're we're getting these films that are about these two you know enemies and how they weren't enemies beforehand which could be interesting but i guess i was never really interested never never really interested in that sort of thing that being said this looks gorgeous uh it like just all of those shots look incredible i know it's not J john favreau doing this movie but i am i am cautiously optimistic for this one and the fact that we have billy Agner and seth rogan coming back as timon and pumba i saw donald glover which and and beyonce uh disney's princess D beyonce not gonna say anything bad about her because i value my life uh but the fact that they're back means that this is probably going to be a story. Oh wait, and the fact that we saw Blue Ivy, I, Blue Ivy Carter, Beyonce's daughter, I'm guessing she's voicing Kiara, which means this is going to be a story that Simba's telling, Simba and Nala are telling Kiara, which is interesting to me. I like the fact that we're just not go, we're not immediately retelling Lion King 2 Simba's Pride or, you know, Lion King 1 and a half, which I stand by. A lot of people don't like Lion King 1 and a half. I really like that movie. I think it's I think it's fun as hell. Um but yeah, no, I I think that's interesting. So uh I remain cautiously optimistic, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what you think about Mufasa a Lion King story. That's not what it's called. <laughs> Mufasa the Lion King. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe to YN, and I will see you all in the next trailer. Peace.